So first I start off by using my dual action moisturizer and I just put that on my entire face and I kick up my face by layers by layers with that so I have to use so I get to use less foundation. So I just blend that into my entire face. So the foundation I use is the Revlon Photo Ready Finish Makeup Foundation in the medium 3 shell color. And I will just start off by taking two pumps of that into the back of my hand and putting dots around my entire face. And then I take a foundation brush and I just blend that foundation into my face. As basic as it is, you just kind of blend that all in until you have like no harsh lines and stuff like that. And for my forehead, I make sure that I get the scalp of my head because I don't, like, not my scalp, but my hairline because I don't want to have, like, you know, really uneven lines on my face. So after I use my foundation, I use either the Instant Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup or I use the Benefit Fake Up Concealer and I will just put that under my under eyes and cover up all my dark spots and I um, put that under my T-zone and my nose and just any incorrections I have in my face and I'll blend that in again with my foundation brush, foundation brush tongue twister and just, you know, blend that all in. I'm running out of words to say. <laughs> so for the pressed powder that I use is the matte Maybelline pressed powder. And I will just use a brush to blend everything around my face and just set my makeup. Do it on my eyelids, do it on my hairline, do it on my jaw, do it down my neck. Everywhere like that, just making everything all over there. Then I use, for bronzer, is either the Hoola or the NARS Laguna. I will switch on and off by that, and it's really good. I, for this part of the video, I used Hoola, and I just went out of my cheekbones, and of course, it looked kind of harsh in the camera than it did in the mirror, but um, I just went along my cheekbones with that. I also went on my temples. So I went on my temples with that, and then I went, of course, down my nose to shape my nose a little bit, and then on my jawline to kind of give it a little bit of shape. And then for blush, I will use the NARS Orgasm, which is also a very high-quality blush, but it is really well for the price that it comes with. It's expensive, but it works well, and I'll put that on the apples of my cheeks. So for my eyeshadow, I use the Naked Basics palette, and the color that I put on my entire eyelid is the Naked 2 color, and I will fill my entire eyelid base with that, and put that on my entire eyelid, obviously. And then for my crease color, I use Faint, which is also on the Naked Basics palette, and I'll just blend that onto the outer portion of my eye. And I do it on the other eye as well. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because I then take a blending brush. And I will just blend that all out because you don't want harsh lines on your eyes. Or it will just look not pretty and you don't want that. So I just kind of correct it a little bit and just blend everything together. Then I'm going to take um, the Crave color. It is the black, and I just put that on the like outer outer corner of my eye, and blended that in with Faint and Naked too, just making the look a little bit darker yet light at the same time. And this is all matte colors that I'm using, so it just kind of makes a difference in my eye makeup look. 
and just blending that black crave onto the outer portion of my eye as well and blended those together So I usually use the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner to line my eyes, but I actually forgot it at my mom's house and it's at my dad's house for this. So I just used a regular Rimmel Black waterproof eyeliner. It's from Rimmel London and it's Exaggerate Black Nor color. So I just used that on my top eyes to line them and I make it quite thick than I usually do and then I do the inside of the waterline of the upper eyes so I just fill that in and I take the Colossal from Maybelline Volume Express in the color Classic Brown um, for my mascara I don't use black purposely because I have really really long eyelashes so when I use black it makes me look like I have like drag queen eyes and it just doesn't look as natural as I want it to look and yes, I will just put that on my entire eyelashes using the top to the bottom and I don't really do anything special with it. I just kind of put it on there like that. And just let you guys all know that Zuri Carpenter is actually using my Dalteen right now. So I hope you guys all know that. And then I take the Rimmel Black Eyeliner once again and I use the outer corners of my eyes for this instead of doing my entire eye. Oh, I'm bringing my breath here. And then I just brush my eyebrows and unless I get them like wax like really, really thin, I don't really put that on my entire eyebrow, like fill them in or whatever. Then I took the color Venus back in the Naked palette and I, that is not matte color, but I use that to highlight my brown bone and then in the inner corners of my eyes to make it look like more cool. Then I took from the Urban Decay set Easter set pack, um, I put that as my lipstick. And then for my hair, I braid it every night before I go to bed um, because it just comes out less like crazy in the morning. So I just decided to go with the braided down wave look. And I just took out my braids from the night before. I take a shower and then I braid my hair into two braids. Um, I part my hair the way I usually part it from the left down. It's just a half, you know, bang sort of. I don't really have bangs, but I just do the side look. And then I just ran my fingers, just kind of messing it up a bit. I don't use hairspray because I don't like my hair all crusty when I wear hairspray. And I just kind of ran my fingers through that. And I just used those curls, waves. So that is my makeup routine for this week. I hope you guys really liked it and try it out and send pictures if you do. Bye!